Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot with your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of May 9th through the 15th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe and help support my channel. Now, Gemini, as you already know, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings, and will not resonate with everyone. So let's take a look at the cards you received for this week. First card, Major Arcana card, The Devil. Next up, Major Arcana card, Death. Next, the Ace of Emotions. And the Queen of Emotions. Okay. Wow. This is some... Um, there's, there's a message here. An energy that's really indicating cut the cord on a relationship. You have the power this week to eliminate something that's around you that's not good for your health and well-being. And this is someone that you're connected to in some way. It could certainly be a love relationship. It could be a family member, a coworker. This certainly can have something to do with last week's reading with the King of Swords. That was an energy that, that was, um, wasn't telling you the whole truth. So this could actually be someone you've been going to for a service, whether it be like a doctor, an attorney, a banker, an advisor, something of that sort. Something is just like a very stagnant energy. It's very rooted. And there's an indication of not only listening to what your intuition is telling you, where last week I was getting either like a second opinion or make a choice in regards to that individual. But besides listening to your intuition, Gemini, what's in your heart, your emotions are going to be kind of the deciding factor as to how this week moves forward for you. So taking a look at your first card here, you have the Major Arcana card, the Devil. This is the anchor card for your reading. And with it being a Major Arcana card, change. There needs to be a change. There's change coming in. I'm really drawn to, you see this butterfly there? This is almost like where you need to make your escape down that... Uh, Let's see if it'll right down that uh, corridor there. The devil card here, I keep picking up is where you're being trapped or possibly in like the same situation, same scenario. It can be in regards to who's around you. It can be... Um, the people that you go to for certain services. And it can certainly be a very manipulative individual or situation, but there's an energy also here where it's telling you you're only trapped if you want to be because you can make the choice to kind of go through this doorway, this opening here, trusting your instincts. And again, look at this. We have two individuals here where you're on the fence deciding like the pros and cons to this. So there's definitely this energy is still around you. Maybe unbeknownst to you, you're not realizing it's a very manipulative energy. One where you're really not allowed to question this individual or you don't feel comfortable like second guessing or questioning this individual. So for the Geminis who have a good relationship with their partner and family members, 
this definitely could be someone else around you that you go to that really doesn't have your best interest in mind. Someone you pay money to for a service. So let's pull a clarifying card for this devil card. Wow. The nine of cups. This is a very blunt message of you stay with this individual or in this circumstance because you choose to. It's your wish. Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card. So it's your own choice that you stay with whoever this represents. Now, as much as this Nine of Cups can be a very positive card, it can also have a very stubborn energy about it. But what to pay attention to is the Nine numerology. This is kind of an indication that maybe... Uh, how you felt in regards to this situation or this individual is coming to an end. Maybe looking over what has been done, kind of reviewing. So very much has the feel of giving whoever or whatever this represents a second look. As what I'm picking up, it's a very manipulative energy where you don't question whoever or whatever this is. And yeah, that's the negative energy associated with the devil card. Now next, major arcana card, death. It's not an actual physical death. It is a transformation. It's the ending right before. Right before the transformation. And that's why you see this butterfly hanging over the doorway. And you also have a moth or a butterfly here. And it's uh, kind of been like, it's an energy of being asleep at the wheel. I mean, look at all the cobwebs. You haven't been paying attention. You haven't paid attention to what was really going on. And that's in regards to this energy that I'm picking up with the devil card that there is still someone around you that is not giving you the whole story. So the death card showing up, there's some closure coming in. I feel some of you are cutting the cord within regards to this relationship, partnership of some sorts. It might be a business partnership. This could simply be shopping around for a new doctor, a new dentist, someone that provides service for you. It's an indication here that Something's really not working for you any longer. And it's primarily indicating here the ending of some kind of union or partnership. Something where you've been established with this situation or this individual for some time. And now it's parting of the ways. Not easy, but it's going to be the best thing for your health and well-being. Death card is an energy where you might have been feeling kind of stuck or you're getting the same answer and that's just not acceptable to you any longer, Gemini. So it's an indication to look around, decide what you need to let go of or who you need to let go of. And then you'll like free up this very stagnant energy. You see all the cobwebs here on this card. That's going to be blown away. New things will come in then. Know that um, it's going to make a world of difference. It's going to be the best thing you could have done. And now you're kind of looking at something in a totally different way. So really like following your intuition. But not only that, you're going to be listening to your heart as well. Let's pull a clarifying card for the death card. But between the devil and the death card, these are two major arcana cards. There is great change coming in. Very much needed change is what I'm picking up as there is someone better for you, Gemini. And this could be in regards to your health. This could be in regards to your job, a relationship. 
it is some kind of union or partnership, some kind of relationship. So let's see. And we have the high priestess. Well, this is really telling you to really trust in your intuition as there are things going on behind the scenes that you're unaware of. And what I'm picking up is the energy of you're not getting the full story. You're not getting the full service. This is a general reading, so it's really hard to zero in as you would uh, doing a one-on-one -on -one reading. But depending on what it is, you're just not getting everything that you've got coming to you in regards to the service you're paying for or the relationship involved is the best way that I can put this energy. Now next, you have the Ace of Emotions, better known as the Ace of Cups. This is where your intuition will be like that overflowing cup. This is experiencing new feelings, a very heightened intuition. And if it is in regards to a love relationship, you could be leaving someone behind as this Ace of Cups is the beginning of new love coming in. So this is certainly a fresh start emotionally. It's going to make you feel so much better. So if the devil card and this energy is in regards to a service provider, maybe a healthcare provider, you're going to make a decision to either go to someone new for like a second opinion or you're just switching altogether. And the ace of emotions is really tuning into your intuition where it's just going to feel right that you're moving on from something or someone that was no longer like a good fit for you. So let's pull a clarifying card for the ace of emotions. Nine of pentacles. Yes. Getting what you deserve, Gemini. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that you deserve better than what you've been getting. And if you have any doubt in regards to that, this number nine energy is coming up again for a review. And you might be doing that, just kind of going over how you feel about this, this change that really seems to be coming in this week. And you deserve so much better, Gemini. Next, your overall energy here is the queen of emotions this week and also known as the queen of cups. She's second only to the high priestess, which you already received in this reading in regards to trusting your higher self, your instincts, your intuition this week. How do you feel about this person, this situation? Do you feel you're getting everything you need emotionally? So you're going to have this as your overall energy with the queen of emotions all week long where you're really going to start thinking in a new way as to am I getting everything that I need in regards to a relationship or in regards to someone that you're going to for some kind of service and your cards here are showing a change is going to be taking place and that you deserve so much better. Now, let's take a look at your oracle cards and your fortune for the week ahead. And your oracle message is Lorelei. Crystal for the week, turquoise, balance. Let me grab my, I have a small piece of American Beauty turquoise. And you actually had two fortune cards come out. You have um, Pale and Dagger. Let's go back to your Oracle card message first, Lorelei here. This is a message about power, responsibility. And this is kind of an odd message coming in, but you could be both like this mermaid sitting here where you have the control over the ship, 
but you are also currently on this ship where someone's manipulating you. And that is certainly tied to your anchor card right here, the devil card. Devil card, this is a card showing, um, yeah, deep connection here. But this is the manipulation. This is a card showing that with the flick of her wrist, she could toss the ship just against the shore. Or she has the choice to let it continue on its journey. So it's about choice. And it's choice in continuing what this card's indicating. This card's indicating to continue with this cycle of pain or not getting what you deserve, Gemini. It's more that. Or are you going to want to move forward to some really calm waters where you're going to be happy? Main message here, Gemini, is you have control. Now your crystal for the week. Turquoise which is about balance and it does concern your throat and heart chakras. So it's about expressing how you feel this week. What is off balance here? There is actually with this particular crystal card about focusing too much in one area where something gets neglected. And I just keep picking up the energy, Gemini, that you have been with someone for a long time and it just feels comfortable but you're not really seeing that you're not benefiting from this situation, this partnership, this relationship. And I just keep picking up, it's someone that you've gone to, you pay this individual for their services and you're not really getting what you deserve because it's so comfortable and familiar, you don't change. So turquoise crystal can definitely help you express yourself. Take the plunge and expect nothing less than what you deserve in regards to any facet of your life. Now, next, your fortune cards. And two flew out, but they go hand in hand. You have pale, time to get out of a situation, and you have dagger, fears, worries, tense situations. So telling you to get out of a situation and the reason that there's fear and worry is because there's going to be confrontation. That's what you're concerned about. But the pale card here has the stronger energy here because it's indicating time to get out of a situation to like bail on the situation that you're in. Specifically could be a romantic involvement or it could be a business or financial situation. There could also be something of a legal nature that's going on here where, again, you're not getting what you deserve. You're not getting what you're paying for here. And I'm actually going to pull a clarifying card for this um, fortune here, this scenario. Okay, the king of pentacles. Definitely a card again. We've got that number. Um, no, we don't. I was going to say that number four energy, but it's very much like that number four energy where you're stuck in the same traditional way. Um, just stuck with the tried and true. It's always been done this way. That's what the King of Pentacles represents. Definitely could be someone in business that you're seeing. This is someone who's very wealthy, successful, and you don't question. You don't question them. What I keep getting is you just don't question them. And that's where it can get to be a bit tense because you're not getting everything that you're paying for, so to speak. This is actually Taurus's card in energy. So this is somebody that's very opinionated, very determined, very successful. It can be a very overwhelming type of personality. And again, one where you don't question them. So interesting reading again this week, Gemini, where last week's reading is kind of carrying over into this week. 
But I see you're reviewing who this um, manipulative person might be or the situation that you're in. So it's definitely about leaving possibly an individual, whether it is some kind of provider, maybe a health provider, a financial advisor, an attorney, a doctor, any of those things. But it can also be in regards to a relationship that you're in or possibly an overbearing family member. And just a clear message of you deserve better. And it's coming down to trusting in your intuition. And also, what does your heart say, Gemini? You know, are you the mermaid here? Or are you stuck on the ship? Well, there you have it, Gemini. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.